episode 68, bud. We're very I close. Mean, We're very close. Very close. We have something. Best for the best episode yes. ever. We have something planned. For, 69. Yeah, nice. 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 So, <clears throat> you, want to talk, you want to talk about uh, goals and regrets, but I wanted to ask you because, you know, whenever I try to, like, plan goals or think about goals, whatever... Do you find yourself trying to uh, struggle with it depending on the way that the world is going or our country's going or certain If there's going to be a world anything? there for the goal to be achieved, right, like, right. Do you potentially? F- right. Do you find yourself, you like, you know, putting your... Who knows? If I wait around too long, that might be the case. <laughs> right? <laughs> I have no idea. Right. Um, but I feel like there's a few that are, you know, they're right around the corner. And like, but then again... Feeling like it's that close, yeah, makes me more comfortable to put off going after it just because eh, it's 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 always there. I can. Well, well that's I mean, kind. Of, I mean, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> some I mean, of them can be well, depending on that, what the goal is. You know, short term goal. But if it's that close, why not just hit it. hit it and achieve it? I know. Why 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 the getting is good? But I, I mean, I guess I'm mostly talking about like long term goals, like. Whenever you're, you know, mm. does that play an effect? Like, listen, I don't know. It, it can be, but if I want to, s- then what's the point of even going after anything at that yeah. point? You know, then yeah. I'm just going to be all doom and gloom and sad and what's, you know, a nihilist, basically. We're all going to die, <laughs> so fuck it. Like, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> there's no sh- point in doing anything. It's a struggle that I find myself, because, like, I also am, like, a realist, and it's like I try to right. be realistic of, like, okay, I can set this goal, but... But then again, then it's always like that, well, you know, you have to just say fuck it and go for it. Well, I mean, human beings, for the most part, I would say, you know, search for a purpose. Right. The purpose of life, the purpose of their life. People like to have a purpose, generally. I can't speak for everybody, obviously. But from what I see, like, because people lead... So there are some people I look, I'm like, wow, they're like they're living like that, yeah. but they're still going. Yeah, you know what I mean. So they, they got to find something. I forgot who it was. Somebody brought up an interesting point where, like, you go to a gra- uh, a gravesite, right? Like a, uh, a uh, cemetery. Ce- cemetery. Mm-hmm. And you know, what do you see on the tombstones? You see the person's name, and then Their date, you know the birth date and death date. Right, but then it's always like you know a beloved mother father uh a beloved school teacher mm. you know whatever there's all it, sometimes it's like an occupation or like you know father mother whatever well, people would get creative with it and be like a fucking asshole here lies a fucking yeah asshole. i mean that's <laughs> rare but it, and it's it's and but they go it's never about like you know what they felt on the inside or uh you know how they were you gotta feeling pay extra for that i think yeah, to problem, have all that uh, extra, detail yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's kind of why, like, people kind of find their, like, their niche, like, their profession that kind of contribute to society. But mm. let me ask you, what are some short-term goals that you that you claim that are right there in sight, but you're like, eh, I'll do it tomorrow. I got it. I'm interested. I, I want to hear this. Uh, well, uh, there was somebody that reached out to me that was following the podcast that, you know, we and we had corresponded before about you know being a potential guest and you know talking about artwork and <laughs> you know all that other stuff yeah. without you know really mentioning the obvious that you know she's she's a smoke show so, yeah. so it's like okay yeah. so I'm trying to be respectful and all that stuff because I don't want to assume you know because it's someone like that I'm sure they get DMs all the time like I don't want to be another person like this let's be somewhat professional even though we're absolute buffoons like, yeah you know and uh then you know got some dms and you know we had a little back and forth on the personal and i uh yeah i was i was kind of surprised that like she initiated she's down yeah right okay so and, so what's what's the goal uh well the goal is to go ahead and and you know Go ahead and seal that deal. Seal the deal, yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, well, Have I mean, nice we, we talked about it previously, and I told you. So right. You say, and here, here, okay. See? I'm procrastinating. Wait, why? What do you mean a nice night out? What, are you going to take her to <laughs> dinner, too? Well, it oh, could be anything. man. We watch what? a movie. Oh. We could hang out for a little bit. Do a Netflix and watch, chill. Yeah, dog. watch some Rick and Morty. There you go. 
There you go. Okay. But then, but, but why are you putting it off? I, I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm nervous. I mean, there's that. Don't be nervous. No, I'm intimidated. But why? She initiated it. I know. If she did that to me, bud, I would have been there fucking three weeks ago, dude. I know. I would have been there that day. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> I, know, so, I don't know. Which I guess brings me to another goal of mine is to stop second guessing myself and being uncertain and afraid. Because that's really what it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's really all it is. Yeah. I mean, how many times we talked about that too recently? How many times were, you know, I'm like, oh, let me watch an episode. It's like, dude, we. we we you just have, get to the point we, where it's just the like, fuck it, just right. do it. But it's also practice makes perfect sort of thing. Like, like for instance, like, go back to, like, trying to, like, ask, like, you know, women out, for for, for instance, mm -hmm. right, in the beginning. And you're always, like, it's always, like, nerve-wracking or afraid or whatever. Well, after a certain amount of time, then you're just like, fuck it. And you just, like, it's just a natural thing that you develop. Mm. So, but again, it's, it's one thing, like, I get it. Like, if you were... You know, being like just like any other dude and trying to like reach out and see what's up, but the fact that she initiated it and made it clear, I mean, yeah, I don't really know what other conclusion to draw from yeah, that. I'm, so, I mean, but, I'm yeah. just saying, just what would Will do? I mean, honestly, yeah, I, you just you gotta be you gotta be a little bit better. Than that. <laughs> I, I'm a, I'm a little disappointed, but I, I, mean, hey, I mean, come on, we're all being honest here. I mean, come on. So I mean. Okay, I mean, that's not bad. I mean... But that is definitely a goal to, to just go ahead, yeah. Okay. Now, is there any... I can't not. No. No, you need to. Regardless of what it is. Now, is there any, like, um... Do, do you ever set, like, any financial goals or anything like that? No. No? Just fuck it, whatever. Win the lotto. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I get so mad when people fucking, oh, yeah, I just bought a couple <laughs> tickets. Well, I'm $500. But I'm like, what the, dude? They're I... usually compulsive gamblers, but every once in a while, yeah, I see somebody that was like, I never play, and I just won like a thousand bucks. I'm kind of like, you know what? That, that gives me hope that it could happen to me. Yeah. Well, one thing, one goal that I've uh, set for I was myself. I going to say, yeah, you dream goals. I, I, mean, I remember you I saying do. that. I do. <laughs> I do. I'm also trying to live it too. Uh, one thing that I'm doing is I'm I'm literally microdosing the news because i have just I'm so over it. I, I'm just so right. Give pissed. yourself just enough to kind of get a picture of what's going on. Yeah, but don't. That's it. I, be I, saturated I, by it. I get... be, because then I just get so pissed off. Not not so much of like one side or the other. I just look at it like, okay, you, the American people are just. Allowing all this to go on and just no accountability, and we're just like, uh oh, hey, it is what it is, and uh, you know, just gonna get we'll get them in twenty twenty four, and I'm just like, oh, here we, and then it's just, you're just in this fucking wormhole, and you're just like, dude, and again, life's, and, and, and another thing is like, it's out of your control, so you can get as mad as you want, right. you can do, you can fucking tweet all day, do your do your rants, all, what are you accomplishing? You're you're wasting all that time. For what? To try to convince a, a person to think like you? Like I mean, religion's been trying to do that forever. Eh, not really. I mean, eh, not really. You're just negative. <laughs> that's, that's really what. You, that's really what you are. Um. So uh, another one uh, that I really need to be worked on because I I always want to like strive for like the next level or like the next best thing or you know and i have to try to like come to terms with like being more humble than appreciated or appreciative on like the things that i have oh and, i was gonna say i'm like, like you always say th dude like i mean every time i cook like you never not say thing you don't no, just like no. eat it burp and then throw no, the no, dishes but I'm just saying with like things that i have i didn't realize where that was going yeah, 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 yeah. but yeah. for yourself for mm. myself, yeah, things that I have, yeah. you know, like, because, again, it's, and I know it's, like, cliche, but it's, like, you know, some people don't have a job or some people are more financially strained than me or, you know, whatever. And it's just, like, I have do. to, I have to. Sometimes the number, if you look up a number about that, it's pretty staggering and you're, like, Cause a lot that of many people, it's a lot worse off. And that could be just this country. Yeah. Let alone eh, I mean, places I think in the that's world just, that aren't. I, th I think that could just be human nature because mm. you have all these things daily. So you kind of take it for granted. And yeah. you, know, you know, we rarely sit back and go, you know, okay, I have these things. Like, 
already. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Oliver does that. Look at the way he's just lounging over there. Like, that. that's his couch. Well, because, like, there was a point where I... If the couch was gone, he would... I mean, he'd make do, but he would be looking around like... Yeah. Where's my where's my plushy place? (laughs) Because, like, there was a point where, you know, I didn't have these things. So it's like... And now, since I've had it for so long... I kind of like just forget because I'm so in the weeds of trying to progress and obtain, you know, more things, better things. You know what I mean? I just, and I think we're, we all fall victim to that. You just lose a mind. Yeah, that's a good point, though, because that's kind of a really negative, but I do that, too. Yeah. You know, and, and like you said, to a point, I feel like all of us do with what we have. We get so used to it that we need to be reminding ourselves not only the, the have-nots, but when you were also someone that didn't have this, right. and then you got, remember how happy you were when you had this. Yeah. Remember how much you wanted that, and right. then you got it. Yeah. It's it's not so much like I don't lose, like, I, it's not like I lose value in things. It's not like if I have something, like, really nice or expensive or anything like that, I just, like, fuck it, <laughs> and like, trash it. No, but just, just... Right, if something happened to it, you'd be really upset. Yeah. But you I, don't think about when things are good or just normal. Right. Just, How wonderful it is. Yeah, so trying to be more humbled really is just really uh, just what I'm kind of focusing on. So what about you got any... Uh... Oh, we got to get negative. You know me, man. I got to bring out the, the negativity. Regrets. Uh, I've had a few. Um, not trying in school. I think that started in like seventh grade. Not doing homework. Not really giving a fuck once I got into high school uh skipping class um you know dipping out to to go do drugs and or being in class fucked up on drugs and okay what okay I wish I would have tried more my dad's always he used to tell me that he's like dude like you get A's and B's you're an A and B student he goes your sister always demonstrates that she gets straight A's so that's why that's her expectation. Okay. She has set that bar. She strives to attain it. She would do all the work necessary, you know, Yeah. a, a great pupil. Um, but me, it's A's and B's. So that's what we expect from you. And then they're coming in with like, you know, there would be C's and D's and B's. And then there'd be some, because then I started just fucking off and everything. And it's just like, it's that you don't care. If you really tried, if you did your work, if you went to class, if you didn't understand it, you would seek help or tutoring. If you went and did the extra work and did your best and you still got C's and D's, I can live with that. Okay. Like, you're an idiot, but I can, you know, right. you did everything you could. You tried. You cared. You don't even care. But Imagine how well you could do if you really cared. You get A's and B's and you don't even try sometimes. You're just like, eh. Because but, what if you really put your mind to it? If I could go back kind of and really like, like I was more focused on the, the social aspect of school. Let's make friends. Let's do this. Let's meet girls. Let's go here. Let's go there. That's all I cared about yeah. at that point. But put in, pers- so try to, what, how do you think your life would, would be different or change? Let's just say if you did try go to college. Okay. And then what? I'm just, right, I'm, just saying, I'm just I'm just asking right. like like was there like was there like a profession that you had in mind or something you wanted to go to college for that you know you didn't get the opportunity to right. because was, you slacked off at school? Right. Well, that did one of my goals as a kid was I wanted to be a pro baseball player. Okay. And that of course when you don't meet the grades, you become ineligible. My right. parents took that for me before the school did because mm-hmm. they saw the the trend and they were like no, I don't think so. You don't have time for this. You don't have time okay. for that. So more so just that on the already got taken. Side. Okay. And then I was like, oh, well then, fuck it all. Like that was my attitude, very bad, and the behavior that followed uh, definitely, um, you know, didn't make it any closer to being better. Because then the thought was, uh, because of where I went, they had a medical magnet program that I was in. So I'm like, okay, let's go go to school for sports medicine. I could mm-hmm. be a, a team doctor. Right. That'd be pretty cool. They yeah. make good money, all this nonsense. I get to go with the sport. That's part of the passion. All right, this is out. Th- that's in. You know, maybe I would have done something like that. Who knows? Mm. That would have been pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it's... 
a lot of it is like when you just hit a certain age point, it's just like school just becomes uninterested, boring, and yeah, you want to, you know, you try to fit in socially, and I mean, we're all victims of, of that to an extent, like I was similar to that, I was always on a roll up until 10th grade. And right, I was 11th, and then you know, I, yeah. <laughs> fuck, fuck it, but um, it, it's interesting because I have, I have two regrets that involve schooling, Okay. and one of it for me is not taking sports as serious as, as I should have. Right. Not saying like, oh, I would have been, you know, the next fucking uh, Lawrence Taylor or anything like that, but, you know, I was, you know, I should have really just focused and, you know, again, pursued that maybe, because at the time, I mean, I love football. I like, put in and the and extra just, work and all that, right, like but what I, I was just, not doing with school. And again, I just half-assed it. I just, you know, I said, you know, eh, you know, I just half-assed it. And, and that, you know, that boils down to, not, not saying that I couldn't play because of my grades or anything. My grades weren't that bad to where I couldn't play, right. but I just didn't take it serious enough. And, you know, and I did, you know, football and wrestling, and I just never fully committed like I was in it you know I went through the motions I did all that but I was just I just was just not you know yeah. into it good friend of mine uh we were childhood best friends he was into country music when we were in high school and he was Mr. like motivated like he uh made the varsity wrestling team weighing in at 103 <laughs> Like yeah, feather, Tiny. Like, yeah, but tough motherfucker, dude. And he would, he would do the fasting, even though when you have to make weight, you know, running in the middle of the summer, you know, to train for the every Thursday, the next school season, every yeah. Thursday. Oh, he was doing it on his own, like just at night, going for runs like that with sweaters on and sweatpants yeah. on in this humidity, and I'm like, my god. But he, you know, he tried to motivate me a lot, right. and he was a positive influence. And he was into country music, and there was a song called, I, I don't know who uh, wrote it, but it's called If I Could Write a Letter to Me. And it was kind of talking about that, like, all you cared about was Friday night. Like, I remember that lyric specifically, because then when that came out, he looked right at me, and I was like, you know, that is pretty true. Like, mm. Mm. It's, all, it's all I wanted to do. But, I mean, it, it's one of those things where it's like, it's not like you can't be successful in life no you know and that, that's if, he, the beauty if you don't of it. do well in school i mean when we went to school i think we were like one of the last generate the last group of kids to go to school because it was always you know you had to oh this not, was the not, path not only you know do well in school but then go off to college and like you had to do that to now it's kind of like not really. You can go get a trade. Like, that's, that you make really good money. That shit is, you know, See, I'm wanted. glad you brought that up because yeah. that leads to my second regret. Oh, boy. <laughs> my second regret is that I, f I should have went straight to technical school instead okay. of community college. Right. Because I spent two years of community college, $15,000 worth of debt, and for what? For a lot of bogus classes. A liberal arts degree? No. It, no, I did I did go for, I was going for uh, pharmacy, pharmacist. Okay. I was going for. But, again, you the have illegal to. illegal drug dealer? Yes. You, but respectable. Again, you have to go through all this, you know, you have, you have to get an AA, and you just have to go through all these fucking basic generic courses. I've been And a AA. lot of it was just, uh, we, we know. But uh, a I lot kicked of, out. <laughs> a lot of it was just nonsense and a waste of money. They always nickled and dimed you. Mm. Your books. All right, you got to pay for it. The classes. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, all this shit. And it's like, you know, one of the dumbest courses I ever took was fucking ethics. Mm. Like, what? I mean, we're all over 18 there. If you don't know how to be ethical, <laughs> I mean, you're fucking lost, dude. Like, I don't think that, that I don't think you taking that course is going to be like, wow, I, I am just a changed person. No, a lot of it's just bullshit. And, and, and again, I learned more in technical school than I ever did. Mm. And I actually... Hands-on, how to actually right. do something. And I actually have taken those skills and able to do stuff to not just make side money, but to save money for me. Mm -hmm. You know, help people out in, in need, you know, in the community and stuff like that. Like, for instance, like last night, I just helped to change a oh, fucking really? lady's tire. Did you really? Yeah. No shit. You didn't see me out there in the fucking parking lot? <laughs> no. Yeah. 
Yeah, our ball. Oh, I didn't even see you the what the week before, and yeah, you had been there the yeah. whole time. And I was like, I was yeah. looking at that table over there. You yeah, you're you're, there. you're fucking lost. I like walked but... past you like four times. I felt like such a dick. And, and, I regret that. And not just like, and not just going to technical school early, but I feel like if I actually went, because the time that I went, it was a bad time for that school, mm. and like that's why I left because it was just like they didn't have teachers, and it was like a whole fucking thing. Dang. But if I would have went straight out when I left high school, you know, after I got done with high school, and just went, you know, I could have finished all the way through and could have had a different, you know, career on it. But, you know, it's, you know, it's, just, but I, I try not to beat myself up over, over it because it's like, again, you can still, ha you know, maintain a, you know, a successful life without yeah. having to right. it's go not through the all end. that that's shit. The, that's right. the cool part about it. Like, yeah. I know we say regrets or whatever. It's kind of like we wish we could have done this differently. Sure. We're not. You know, this isn't a wine and bitch session. We're yeah. just going, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, look at it that way. It's just like... I try to take the it as next, lessons. Right. Like, look at what I did. I wish I didn't do that. If I had done that, things could have been better. But I'm at where I'm at now, and having realized it makes you better. Not so just now you that, can achieve it, something with that attitude. And it prevents you from making that same mistake again, because you're like... Yeah, you you've know, seen this before. Right. You see the patterns. Right. Um, well, I had a... It's a little regret uh, from back when I was playing uh, baseball as a kid. Um, every now and then, you know, when, when kids started pitching, like, it's not coach pitch anymore. You get to a certain age. I think when you're like seven or eight, like, the kids start pitching. And I might have been 11 or 12 at this time. And, you know, every now and then you lose control of one and you plunk the batter. It's an accident, but take your base, mm. whatever, you get the next one. Uh, <laughs> and I hit one kid one time, it was an accident, and, you know, he it got him in the side and he was, you know, was out of breath, it knocked the wind out of him and we had to take a timeout and everything, but he was okay. And my mom, after the game, she was like, thought it was like bad manners. <laughs> Like to just be, she's like, why, you know, when you hit somebody, well, you should just see if they're okay kind of thing. And my dumb little kid brain was like, yeah, that's right. You know, have some compassion, whatever. The very next time I hit a batter, <laughs> the second it hit him to, I went, oh, and I was like, hey man, you okay? The second I did that, all three of my coaches were like, shut up. Like, get yeah. back, what are you doing, right. man? Like, I'm at, I'm at, I was like so embarrassed. I was like, thanks mom. Like. Imagine if a football player tackled someone so hard okay, that he's just man. like, oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry I did that. I think they did uh, I think they did that uh, in a movie. I think, what was it, The Longest Yard, the Adam Sandler movie. There mm -hmm. was a scene where they had a big uh, defensive tackle, and he literally, like, uh, like, put him on his ass, like, clotheslined him or whatever, and he's like, I'm so sorry. I had to do it. You know, you said a bad word to me. <laughs> and it was just like... Oh, know. I thought he was just sniffing. He was like, I think he just shit himself. <laughs> like, they were just hovering. That could have been it. Yeah, I don't know. It's was. It's vague. I, yeah. I, I don't know. But it's... um. That's fucking I remember they had to like make one of the big guys apologize to the other one. Yeah, I think that's what I'm They were like, say yeah, you're I, sorry, because he was like, I don't want to play anymore. He broke my nose. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's yeah. That and the other guy reluctantly is like, I'm sorry. Do you mean it? <laughs> yes, I really do. <laughs> do you regret maybe not like lacing up the like lacing the, the, the balls or your glove or your hands or wait wait what do you use to make the ball get a better grip don't you use like pine sole or some shit like that tar or something oh what do, no what do baseball uh, the players rosin do? bag okay do you the regret resin bag. <laughs> yeah do you regret not not using that to we help, weren't to help allowed you? to have that you could have you could have got league. you could have got some I mean, don't don't act like a, oh i don't know there's a, i don't know how possibly to get that you know how to get that yeah no. could have helped your performance it could have because there was a rare moment for me and if you're you know on the younger side, it'll hit you eventually if you have dreams of sports. I was 25 and watching the Rays game. And they're like, and now bringing in the rookie 22-year-old right-hander. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Like, oh, that could have been me. Right? I'm older than these guys now. Like, damn. It could have been me. Right? That, that passes. Don't get me wrong. Then you just enjoy the sport you root for the way you always have once you have the realization, like, I'm a little too old for that. Was there, now. Was there a bunch of guys on your in your league or team that were just fucking shooting up steroids to be, like, just no. fucking monster? <laughs> no. Okay. 
So we did grow up during the steroid era, though. Right, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know if they were just like, because, you know, people were hitting fucking 60, oh, 70 yeah. homies in a year. <laughs> they were like, awesome, oh, man. fuck it. You know, 12 years old, they're shooting, shooting. Oh, man, that was a mm. great time. That was the only time I watched baseball. <laughs> it was just to see who could hit more home runs. Yeah, they got to bring that shit back, right? They should. Hey, fuck it, dude. Like, like, like if you, like, why hide it? Like, that, like you know the effects of it, right? We all know the effects of it. So if you still use it, that's on fucking you. Yeah. And let's, embra- let's embrace it. <laughs> um, well, still speaking of baseball, I do have a regret that uh, when my dad was a coach uh, in Little League for us, we took the whole team, all the coaches and all the players, we all went to a Rays game uh, to celebrate, like, the end of the season. And all of us got, like, buckets of popcorn and stuff. And we had a silly idea to put the bucket on our heads. Once they were empty. And we all did it. And, like, you know, they put us on the Jumbotron. And we're doing, like, the cone heads, like, greeting where they touch. Yeah, right? We were kids. <laughs> so, like, a month or two later, my dad and I, just us, go to a game. And what do I want to do? I want to do Popcorn Head again. I want to be on the, the TV again. I want to be on, you know, this the was la- This was last week, by the way. <laughs> We did go to a Yeah, game this last was week. last week, by the way. Don't be fooled. This wasn't like he was 12 years old. Uh, this was last week when he was 32, okay? I'm just saying. So, you know, my dad's like, no, I'm not getting you a whole bucket of that. It's an enormous bucket of popcorn. We've already eaten. Like, you're not going to eat all that popcorn. And I was saying that I wanted to do the popcorn head thing. He goes, you don't just buy popcorn. You really want to be the fucking popcorn head. You wanted to play the popcorn game, right. actually. You wanted to stick your penis through the bottom of the sure, hole and yeah. say, you know, walk hey, around. who wants walk some around. popcorn? Walk around. Popcorn. popcorn. No, I got to do it like a vendor. You popcorn, really, yeah. You really wanted to play the popcorn game, not the. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, well, after bitching and moaning for a long enough time, he eventually caved in, much to his chagrin. Oh, so and, it works. Uh, yeah, gave me the bucket of popcorn. I got halfway when I realized I was full. And he was like, oh, you want to know popcorn? You're going to finish the popcorn? So I finished the whole thing. And I went to go put it on my head. And he got mad. He goes, no, it's full of butter and salt. Like, you're not putting it on your damn head. Why didn't you just take it home? Oh, yeah, because you want to play the game. Right. Oh, fuck. Exactly. Dude. I was going to say, why are you forcing yourself to eat? Just fucking. Well, that night might have been like 2, 3 a.m. I wake up in the middle of the night and I got a puke and I didn't make it to the, I made it to the bathroom but not to the toilet threw up all over the floor all it was was yellow and you never got popcorn. to put the bucket on your head never got to put the bucket on my head my dad comes in because he hears the commotion sees the lights on the bath mat carpets are there's just, kernels oh e- there's kernels everywhere and it smells like popcorn you know I hope you're eating lunch um, and yeah he was pissed and rightly so sorry dad I regret that. Speaking of which, there is an episode that we have that I got fucking sick while we were yes. recording and I had to throw up. I ate. This was back when I didn't give a fuck. I was eating like fucking Walmart queso <laughs> and chips. And I mean, literally. Just snacking. Literally. On, on, mm. fa- and we still have, I mean, it's still up. I, yep. I ha- I'll have to put the episode down, but, um. You it was could the see, answer the internet. I think it was answer the, answer internet, the internet, and you could literally see me turning green, and then and you're just hey I don't know why you again you got fucking mad. <laughs> like, oh brother, and I was fucking puking my brains I had no out. In clue. Your I regret getting mad at you because then I felt sorry for you. I was like, damn, dude, he 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 was over there like trying to keep it together, and, and, and then you're like, and you're like, well, we're gonna have to reshoot it. Like, <laughs> no, we don't leave it up. It's it's pretty funny. I it's I, I got yeah, it. it was. Because you keep it a straight face as I'm literally turning green. And I'm just quickly giving you answers. I'm not even like really get. I'm just throwing names out there and you're trying to be professional. And you literally see me turning green about I the fucking pass out. I am not getting out. what I want from him yeah. and I don't like it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, unbelievable. Let, let, let's, get, let's get a little little bright side because you've okay. been, you, you, you have like a lot of fucking regrets okay. over there. I mean, I'm just saying. I got, I got one that I actually achieved and still maintain. What? What's that? My exercise regimen. That's good. That was one thing that I actually did pick up in high school. Because okay. weight training would be first period, and my stoner ass would be walking into school, just, nah, I'm going to sleep on this machine. Mm. And guess what? The football players that were also in that class were actually using that as extra weight training and conditioning. Yeah. And they would always come up to the machine. You know, they'd kick the bottom of it first to get my attention. And I'm like, huh? They're like, Hoobin, use it or move. 
Or lose move. it. Move it or no, lose use it. Use it or move. Use the machine or move. Like you're sitting here, like just taking up space. Which I was. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'll go sit over here. And eventually it got to a point where, like, like you know what? No. We're going to be your personal trainers for the rest of the semester. Beautiful. We're tired of making you move. So Beautiful. we're going to watch you move now. Beautiful. And they were big dudes. And I was like, yeah, terrified. <laughs> so then I started exercising. And it actually made me feel better. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep doing this on my it's own. It's just repetition. Yeah. And I've, I've maintained that all the way till now. Yeah. So you've been getting, you've, you've been dialed, you've been dialed the fuck in. And the goal is to continue. Yeah, you've been dialed the fuck in. We see those fucking arms popping. I see it. But, I mean, and it's funny because you, you, we can easily tell if you didn't work out. Easily tell because of your, your mood. You're just like, you're just shit. Oh, that's what you're I mean. Like, I feel amazing afterwards. It's just, you know. Just all if the, you work out. Yeah, ex- exactly. I got all the endorphins going. Like, whoop, yep. like runners high. Yeah. That happens doing it's the real, side hustle, man. Thing. When I got to run all the way up. I mean, those six story tall condos or six buildings. Yeah. God, I got to hit the top floor of each one. So guess what? I was bitching and moaning the first few times I had to do it. Now, this is my workout. Yeah. It's not even a job anymore. Yeah. It's exercise. Right. And then I feel good. Yeah. Then I get, then my mind feels more clear. Well, I'm glad Drink that... Drink more water. That makes you feel good, too. Yeah. So it's, yeah. I'm glad that you brought that up, because that's actually one of my goals, is to... So, like, I've been, like, in the past year, I've lost 25, 30 pounds, you know? And, uh, yeah, woohoo, you know, whatever. Cheers uh, to you, let, I let myself hey. go, okay? Let's not fucking celebrate <laughs> that I'm, I'm losing weight to get to a normal... Uh, you know, weight level, whatever. No, we should celebrate the fact that you're wanting to work on that but, instead of just, you know. But what I was doing is I was just, di- I'm, I, I'm dialing it in on, you know, food intake and, like, i am really been trying lately to do the uh, fasting stuff, mm. you know. So, but, but, so I got, so I've been dialing in with my food game. So now I'm at the point where, okay, since now, because I've been doing it so long, I don't, you know, eat as much and all this other shit and staying away from certain things and all that stuff. So now I'm at the point where, okay, I, I like, you know, you do your, your workouts, you're just in the routine. So now since I got that dialed in, now I'm ready for the next level. And that's to really fucking go to the gym and really get fucking dialed into where I used to be a couple years ago, you right. know. So now, so now I'm at that point where it's like, all right, so... You know, I've not mastered, but I, I have my own little niche on the food game now and all right. that. If you so combine now, that, now right. I'm ready to... You're going to be like Robert Frank out here. I hope so, dude. I hope so. You could. I hope so. Liver King. <laughs> no, fuck. <He's, laughs> that's he's, steroids, but He's hey. fake, bud. That, that's <laughs> fake. But yeah, so that, that's another... Watching that's, a meat looks pretty real, that part. Yeah. Ugh. But, uh, so yeah, so that's another, that's another goal, goal of mine is just to get fit. So just evolve, like I said, get, get on that next level and just be fucking swole as fuck. Right on. Uh, it's going to be, uh, so we'll, you know, we'll see. So I, I know you already were like, you know, tell, telling me, Hey, just so you know, when you start going, uh, you know, I'll yeah, be, man, I'll come with you. Let's do it. I don't know if you can handle it, bud. No, nah, probably not. I'll go. You, I'll go do something else while you're doing I don't know that. If you can handle it. Dude. I'll be doing something. I get after it. Right. <laughs> I get after it. But pe- every person has gone with me. They only last. I think the longest lasts like four, six months around there. Hmm. And he's just like, yeah, I just, I just can't. Cause again, cause you just, you just get into this rhythm. To now, I'm there. You know, I was there five nights a week, two, two and a half hours. You know what Hell I mean? Yeah. And they just couldn't. That's hot. They just can't fucking keep up because I'm just I'm in a fucking zone, mm. and I just can't stop. I can't just can't stop. So that's all. So that well then that's a good thing then. So once you can get started, that's always the hardest part. Yep. Just beginning. Yep. The rest is easy. Yep. And I know that's cliche too to say it's you know a hacky saying, but it's true. Which I give you credit, you credit for doing your like workouts at home because me just like. Kind of like with school, All right? In my own time, I have to. I have to drive there. I get like, your I motivation can't... about it too, like in the sense of I'm paying for it, so I'm gonna get my money's worth right. out of it. Right. I understand because I remember I was like, well, "Why don't you just do that?" You're like, "Dude, the motivational factors," and because they're different for everybody. So I had to understand what motivates you. Am I just gonna be throwing my hard-earned money out the window, flush it down the fucking toilet? No, right. I'm gonna go not only use this, 
that I'm paying for, but I'm going to use the fuck out of it so much that it's a steal. Exactly. Because cause, cause think about, like, with school, for instance, in high school, I was looking for fucking ways to miss school. But, yeah, when I went to college, it's like, you, okay, you pay for it, so I'm going. Mm. Every, I'm not missing a class because I'm fucking paying for yeah. it. You know? And you're really screwing yourself. Exactly. Mm. So, yeah, there, there's a pay aspect to it, and then also, you know, like, to go there. Because, like, I mean, dude, I could never... Be homeschool. I mean, there was no way. I mean, <laughs> There's too many I, distractions, I'm, 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 right? Exactly. But that and happened that's to people thing. during the pandemic. You know, I. What do we do? We got to learn how to cook. I guess. I guess let's start baking banana bread remember, or whatever that trend remember was. Remember a Peloton, whatever that was huge. Oh, the the the, the bicycle, the non-moving or... bike. Yeah, whatever the stationary bike. That's what I always call it. Yes, <laughs> no one Peloton. fucking uses it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right, and and. Uh, but that didn't phase me because I was already in that routine. Right. I already cook for myself. Yeah. I already exercise at home. Everybody's mad that the gym was closed and I'm over here going, I don't see why, I, you know, I'd be more upset feeling like I'm paying somebody to fight gravity. But that's just me. Mm. That's just me and that's the way I think. So my, and also my motivational factors is to not be looked at. I know that sounds dumb. It's not because I, I just don't, I don't like it. It's, it's, the, it's not the chicks that go to the gym or whatever and they're oh, they're, full, they're full of taking themselves. taking pictures. And, they're full of right. themselves. It's then, the dudes. Then they get mad that you're looking. Uh, bitch, you're fucking half naked. Your pants are so tight. I could see oh, I'm gonna everything. Look. I'm gonna look. But you're getting mad that I'm looking. Fuck it. Yeah, here. I'm going to look. But um, it's, it's the dudes there. I don't want you like you trying to get big. Like I, I was, I was at a, a a Publix and went on the scale, and some guy actually came in and he was all yoked out and he was like, "Are you trying to put on weight?" And I was like, "No, just maintaining, <laughs> just maintaining." Thank you. Like I don't want your. You, you need a spot, bro. He, like he, he, he you know throws, how to get bigger. Like this is what you got. I don't need. He throws all a of big that bottle shit, of dude. fucking pre workout at uh, you or something. I don't like, need. Yeah, it's just a mixture. It's just the powder still. Just the powder, the creatine powder, just mixed with cocaine. Yeah, and you just like, oh, okay, like, okay, yeah. let's get work. I I've seen people just don't eat need that it. straight up. Too. I don't need it's it. It's fucking crazy. I don't. Need it. Yeah, I. <laughs> it's wild. Uh, well, actually, going back to the negative side, but it is also a goal in the same sense. But I do regret this is. Apologizing to people when I felt justified still. Just to, like, I always felt like that would be the way to make amends. It's like, apologize first, then they'll feel bad. Now, not to say that that hasn't happened, where, like, I was the bigger person and, like, just, I didn't want this anymore. I don't like this feeling, whatever. We both kind of fucked up. Let's get, let's be past it. It's beneath us. Yeah. And they would apologize too. Like, that has happened. But, that pattern, that behavior, I would do it to people that I wasn't as close with and did not get an apology back. And some people that I did feel like I was close with and didn't get an apology back, and I just got to eat it now. Mm. I don't like that feeling. Yeah. So you don't, so you don't like apologizing even though, even though I'm feeling just, sorry, like, even though you felt you were in the right. Yeah, and I still stand by what I did and, or what I said, but I'm going to apologize because you and I aren't seeing eye to eye. We're on a different page right. and that's what it is. So I'm sorry about, you know, and it's now evolved into that. I won't sit there and say, apologize for what I did or what I said. I'll apologize that the situation's happening. Right. I'll apologize that I made you feel that way. I'm more specific now with the apology. Yeah. So it's and getting better. And, and, and you can change that. To, Sometimes I don't even want to do that. So that's also a goal of mine is to kind of knock that off. You can change, you can correlate that to just, you know, people. Because those are your personal values and your beliefs and, and you're apologizing because the other person is like disagreeing with that for whatever reason. And, and going even hard though that the you other feel, direction. Yeah. Right. So you can even take that to in today's climate where you see people apologizing for either being, you know, uh, you know, Republican, Democrat, whatever, because they have their beliefs and, and whatever political system, their values in life, whatever. And you see because, you know, maybe... Uh, you know, they read the comment section that people, you know, are, are like calling them out, calling them names, whatever. You, you, I've seen people where they apologize because of their beliefs and try mm. to like, you know. Like, are we okay now? And it really doesn't fix anything. Like, right. there's still that 
Exactly. That underlying but, but those animosity are, but you towards should, You it. should never apologize for your beliefs, your values. You shouldn't apologize just because someone doesn't agree with it. Right. So, and, and, and that just... But not, I would always, man. Like, right. I would always... But not just in relationships, just in life in general. Yeah. You, you shouldn't... Like, you oh, shouldn't sorry. have to. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Dude, fuck, stop saying fuck sorry. That. Sorry. Fuck that. Because you want... Because you want, at the end of the day, you want to surround yourself with people that have similar values or uh, views or, you know, um, uh, expectations, things mm. of that. Like, you, like, you know, you don't, you don't want to uh, well, dis- that's dismiss works. your shit that's to try works, to, like, though. hang on to others. Right. But that's where sometimes it works. Like, you and I have had that. And, and the, like, we come right back together. Like, we're not going to let that get in the way of whatever. Like Because it's it's co- right. the core, we, we're the Travis same. Travis and I have had that happen. We're, and, and both of us were even went hard on ourselves. Like, it was like, no, it was me. I, I call it a Canadian standoff. Like, oh, it's my fault. Like, oh, no, I'm sorry. Like, it's my fault. And, you know, we go, I'm gonna pick up right where we left off after that. That kind of thing. Like Because it's okay. You don't have to have an identical fucking mindset or right. values. Like, you can disagree. But we but saw how you that are... that person was worth it more than just how we felt about something. Because at the end of the day, point. it's who you are as a person. Right. You, you, you know, that, that, that's what it is. So yeah. that's good. Yeah. That's good. Um, you got I, something? I do. Right. Uh, I have a goal to where um, I I want to try to carve out more time f- to do activities with friends and family. You should build a bunk bed, man. You have so much more room for activities. Right? But, like, for instance, like, yeah, we, we do a show, mm-hmm. you know, all this, but it's like, you know, try to carve out more time to do stuff well, outside right. of okay. that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just outside no, of that and video games and things you're already kind just, of doing. Just out, like, yeah. Something just whatever. recreational, but right. different. Yeah, exactly. You have anything in mind? I know you're reading all of a sudden. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's something. Smart as fuck. But, <laughs> yeah, but we're not fucking, I'm not like, hey, let's go to a fucking reading class. No, but I'm, what I'm just saying Catch is me like at Barnes and Noble, like man. oh, it's uh, you know, just and it's uh, it's not specifically like you and Je- I mean you're included, but I'm just saying like just with friends, like either like hey, let's all fucking go out to eat whatever one night, or hey, okay. let, let's just all go to uh, you know, go a range or a bowling or, bowling, yeah. or bowling. Yeah. I mean, just just let's go bowling, car- car- dude. Ca- carve out more time for things like that, because. In my younger years, I've I, I've was, had that. Yeah, me too. I, I stopped doing that. I was because I just been so focused and dialed in and doing so many different things that I just you know, because again, if it wasn't for this, I mean, how much time would we really spend together? You, you know, if it wasn't for the show mm. or you know, because we've worked at jobs together, so it's you know what I mean. Yeah. But and and you know, there's other people that you know I like to go do stuff with, hang out with, do shit like that, yeah. and then and then the family aspect, you know, instead of, again, yeah, you're with them at home and shit, but it's like you know, try to carve out time to do other things and just you know, fucking. Sure. And it doesn't necessarily even have to be going out. Like you could do a jigsaw puzzle. I know that's a really weird example. It's actually kind of fun. Is this fucking 1840? Let's light a fucking candle and put a fucking puzzle together. Get the fuck out of here. Now, now you lie. <laughs> hey, let's go in a corner and knit fucking sweaters while we're at it, too, and talk about, uh, I don't know, I fucking... learn how to knit. Watch, Be a seamstress. Drink, drink some red wine and knit sweaters and talk about, you know, fucking whatever. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, get my hair done. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. You, you lost me. You well, lost me. I had a goal, another goal that I actually achieved. And it was a goal that... Uh, so we've achieved uh, some goals. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good, good, this good. This is one that okay, I achieved. Okay. Uh, it arose in me when I was in high school, as it does uh, for a lot of young men, uh, the concept of older women, mm. particularly of the cougar milk variety. Okay. You banged one. You conquered that. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Me too. She was 42. Beautiful. When I was 28. Beautiful. But did a lot of yoga. It's tight. Mm. Uh, was mm. married once, then divorced, never had children, had no desire to. And I got Oliver out of it. Beautiful. Because she fostered 
cats. Right. And would, you know, do trap neuter release on all the stray cats to kind of help with the feline population. And, uh, you know, couldn't find a home for him because he's a, he's a black cat. And people, I guess the whole perceived, oh, that's bad luck is still a thing, which is fucking stupid. And he was abused. Uh, somebody did a number on him, you know, and he still just has that one little patch that doesn't grow back, but he had no fur under his eyes, no fur on his nose, and he was scabby, and, you know, so he, he was ugly at the same time. And I'm like, it's my little boy, I'm going to take him. And now he's beautiful and happy and healthy. So banging that chick just gave you a different perspective in life. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Although she did not care for the fact that I had this sort of fixation so on the age said, thing so and were, that I thought it was hot. So you're she did not like that about, like, when I would bring it up. She was like, why do you tell people that? So you're, like, you're sitting in, in uh, science class in 10th grade and you're like, listen, one of, my one, life, one of my life goals in life is to bang a 40-year-old, 40-plus-year-old no, just a hot woman. older woman. That's it. Do you have an age limit? Like, uh, what if she was like 80? Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, okay. I, w- I would say, uh, I'll say, I'll say 50's the limit. Because people in their 40's don't look like people looked like in their 40's, like, in 1970. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're, like, look at Tom Brady, dead. bro. Tom, Tom Brady's getting better. Yeah. As he's getting he's older. like, fine wine. Like, that is, how, exactly. I think he wants to play again. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he might regret that. But it could be one of his goals. Um... So, yeah, I, w- I was happy with that. All right. We got a goal accomplished. Any other goals you've accomplished? The working out one. Okay. All right. We got two? Okay. Yeah. See, it's not all doom and gloom, baby. No, it's there not. There you go. And, and, and how I'm kind of uh, progressing on some of the regrets. Like, the, when I say regret, like, you know, there have been instances of feeling like, I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I had what I have now, the realization now, and the behavior that I'm exhibiting now back then that's the only regret but it's a positive because now i've got it so keep going with it run with it uh one more just to close this out if i could oh i got one oh you got one more never mind you got one uh feeling like no one gave me a chance when the reality is i wasn't giving myself a chance Mm, I regret blaming deep. people that's deep. for, you know, like, oh, it's because so-and-so did this or so-and-so did... Not to say that that doesn't have an effect, but I was never like, well, what am I doing about it? Giving your... Fucking uh, nothing. Holding just letting yourself it happen. accountable. Yeah. You're just letting it happen, apparently. So, uh, who am I to sit there, oh, if this didn't happen, or if that person didn't do that, fuck all that. Because I didn't continue to try and put myself in a good spot with all of that going on around me. I can't control the things out of your control, but to bring that back up, the point you made. So, I regret doing that. That's a good one. Because it gets you nowhere. Yeah. That's good. Go ahead, brother. So, to close this out with a regret is, uh, you know... Uh, lately, you know, it's, it's, it's always popular now where it's always like the men uh, versus women, like relationship mm. debates and all that stuff. So We're different. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> um, one thing, the, the, the one thing that I hugely regret in life was putting over a, a woman Putting her uh, over family mm. is what am I? Yeah, let it because get I've done that. I was at the time I was so wanted, uh, you know, a family wanted that, you know, long term shit, you know, build a family, all that other stuff, and I was so involved with that. And now, guaranteed, you know, granted, I was also fucked up at that time too, but um, I just. I had all my fucking values and everything messed up. And, you know, I put the family to the side because I was so focused on that Mm -hmm. to where I almost damaged, you know, the relationship that I had with with my mother. So, you know, and it got to a point where, you know, I had to choose, you know, and... You know, I made the right choice, you obviously. Made the right choice. But, you know, I mean, what if I didn't? And then I, you know, God mm-hmm. only knows, maybe it would not have been repaired or whatever. So, point I'm making is don't put ass 
over family. No. Is what is what I'm pretty much That's really gonna confuse people in Alabama. Yeah, they, they they mixed it too. Right. But it seems to work out well. I guess to sum it up, goals are of the future, regrets are of the past, the present is what we truly have. And to add another cliche, that's why we call it the present, because it's a gift. Especially at Christmas time. Especially. We, all, we all get presents. Presents. <laughs> <laughs>